everybody, it's me Lala. Thanks for stopping by to watch another video. Welcome to our new subscribers and welcome back to our subscribers who have been with us for a while. I appreciate your support of me, you know that, and our channel, you know that too. And I hope you enjoy this video. You know that too, because you're smart cookies, aren't you? You are. Whew, let me tell you something. I'm getting a little bit warm, pal. Getting a little bit warm. So, happy Thursday, everybody. It is Thursday, September 7th, 2017. Even in my wackadoodle mind, it is. And I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that that's the date today. I hope everybody is safe and well. Oh, my goodness. Please be safe and well. If you are in the path of Irma, please, please, please heed the warnings that are be being given in your area if you are advised to evacuate and it is possible for you to evacuate, I would do everything you can to evacuate the area that you are in if it is advised. Um, you know, this is a monster, monster storm that is coming and, um, you know, we just want everybody to be safe. So please, please, please. Now, there are reports coming out of Florida that there are certain areas that have run out of water, that there is no water available in the stores. Um, and I guess that they are doing everything they can to get water into those areas for the citizens. Um, you know, sometimes when um, supplies become scarce, if you do not have a stockpile of your own in your home, sometimes you have to get very, very inventive in ways that you can, you know, supply, get the supplies that you need. One of the things that the Weather Channel has been talking about is that if you cannot get water in your area, fill up Ziploc bags. If you can, fill up a Ziploc bag with water and put it into the freezer and freeze it. If you can do that, then, um, you know, you can, you can at least, you know, accumulate some water. Um, also, filling up the tubs you want to have water for flushing your toilets if you need to. But I am just I am just keeping everyone down in Florida in my thoughts, everyone on the Gulf Coast states in my thoughts, and everyone in the uh you know, the southeastern part of the United States in my thoughts. I, I am just hoping, hoping, hoping that everyone is safe and I am keeping everyone in my thoughts. So it's just it, it's, you know, just to have such a big storm come after Harvey, and then now they're even starting to talk about Jose, Hurricane Jose, which is the one that's after Irma. And then I know that they're watching another one after Jose. So, you know, it's going to be a very, very, very busy weekend as far as the weather goes. So, we have cooled off here. There is a cold front that has moved down into our area. So it has cooled off quite a bit. We have very stormy looking clouds with definite breaks in the clouds. Do you know what I mean? So you'll have like very stormy looking clouds and then blue sky, just clear blue sky. Um, this morning, it was very, very interesting because when you looked up in the sky, the, the clouds were going by very, very fast, very, very fast. And, you know, you could tell that the wind was really blowing high, high up in the sky. So, whew, it's just going to be something else, isn't it? It is going to be something else. So, Thursday, Chewy is keeping very, very busy getting things done. We are getting things done. My part is over. I have been told to stand back and let him do what he needs to do. So he is laying the hearth that we have, uh, you know, that we're going to have in front of the fireplace. He is laying the hearth right now. So that is very, very exciting. Um, you know, he's not a mason at all. He doesn't do brickwork at all. And, um, you know, this is just something that we've come up with. And he has talked to his father 
Um, you know, my father-in-law used to build houses back in the day. Um, he was a teacher um, by occupation, but then during the summer times, um, he built houses. So, um, you know, he's talked to my father-in-law to get, you know, make sure that he knows what he's doing and he's being very, very meticulous about it. But I have been told to stand back and not watch what he's doing and not ask any questions. <laughs> I know, right? I'm, I'm just, I'm doing exactly what he's asking me to do. Quite seriously, I am. Um, I make him very, very nervous when I hover and supervise and things like that. And I know that if he, um, you know, gets into a quandary or wants my opinion or something, that he will ask me. So, you know, I don't have any problems about that. I'll tell you something right now. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for the carpeting to be put in at Lilybug Lane. We are not liking uh, not having any carpeting down on the floors. It is just not, I don't know. It's just very, very strange. It's just very, very strange. Um, the cats are doing okay. They're a little bit stressed out, um, you know, because it's very odd to walk on the floors without carpeting for them, um, in certain rooms of the house. But I told Chewy, cause you know, we're getting the downstairs done first this year. And then next year we will be getting the upstairs done. And I said to Chewy, I said, do you think we just should have gotten the whole thing done in one big shebang? You know, just let it all be done at once. And, you know, he said that would probably be like the ideal situation to do. But because of, uh, you know, the time restraint of him being off of work this week, you know, he was glad that we were going to break it up. So, um, you know, we'll be getting the upstairs done next week, as I have told you. So, um, let's see. We got some mail at Lily Bug Lane. We did, we did, and I wanted to share it with you all. So, it's always fun to get mail in the post. It really, really is. And I really appreciate all of your kindness and your thoughtfulness in sending us gifts to Lily Bug Lane and also cards and letters to Lily Bug Lane. And I wanted to share two cards and a little gifty that we got in the mail recently here at Lily Bug Lane. So we got this very, very pretty card and this is from Heidi Plisco and we all know Heidi in our circle of friends. She is a wonderful circle member. She is very active in the comments and she is a wonderful friend. We, we do um, keep in touch through email emails occasionally and everything. And Heidi's sister Dawn has been out on our thoughts and prayers request video for quite a few weeks now and will continue to be. Heidi's sister Dawn was diagnosed with breast cancer and is now in breast cancer treatment. So we want to um, offer support not only to Heidi and her family, but also to Dawn and her family. So uh, Heidi's sister Dawn has been on our thoughts and prayer list for quite a few weeks. So Heidi sent us a card to Lily Bug Lane thanking us for all of our support um, of her family and of her sister Dawn. And she just wanted us to know how appreciative she was. So isn't that a pretty card? It is. And it's got a little bit of glitter on it. And of course, look at that beautiful butterfly right there. I know, right? So fun. It is. It kind of reminds me of a garden, doesn't it? It does. So we got this card from Heidi. And thank you very, very much, Heidi. It was not necessary to send a card, but it is always fun to get mail in the post. And then we got another card. We did. We did. We got a card from Tanya. And we all know Tanya is the Frugal Cafe on YouTube. And she is also in our circle of friends. And she is a wonderful circle member. She is active in the comments. And we just love Tanya. She's, she's just fabulous. And I appreciate her more than I probably tell her that I appreciate her. But Tanya wanted to send a card. You all know that her family, well, her dad, Mr. Ken, was on our thoughts and prayers request um, list for quite a few weeks. And unfortunately, Mr. Ken did pass away. So we are offering support to Tanya and her family and her mother, Glenisey. And Tanya wanted to send a card 
to say thank you to all of us here at Lily Bug Lane for offering our thoughts and prayers to her father um, when he was ill and also now to her and her family and her mother also. So Tanya sent a very nice card too. And that's really pretty too. And it does have a little bit of glitter on some of the um, uh, leaves there. But isn't that nice and autumny? It is autumny. Is that even a word, Tanya? I don't even think that's a word. And then, of course, on the back, look at that little acorn. I know. And then Tanya... So, Tanya loves stickers, and Tanya loves the washi tape, okay? And who doesn't love a good washi tape, and who doesn't love good stickers? I know, right? And I think I'm going to have to open this in order for you to be able to see, because there is a plastic wrap on it, and it'll make a glare. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this. So, <clears throat> Tanya and I have formed a very nice friendship, um, you know, through our channel, and also through... Um, um, emails and stuff. So, you know, we do keep in touch like that. And one of Tanya's, one of my favorite things, and you all know this, is keep calm and carry on. And um, I think that it's a mantra that we can all use throughout our lives, even in our, well, in our daily lives. But, you know, it's just something that is very, very um, soothing and calming to keep in your mind. We all know the history of the um, phrase and everything. But Tanya gifted me with washi tape that says, keep calm and carry on. I know, right? How fabulous is this? So fabulous! I know, right? Now, let me tell you, I have quite a few of this phrase in, in a couple of different, um, a couple of different, what would you say? Um, a couple of different ways at Lilybug Lane. You know I have the decal on the wall there in the Butler's Hall, and that is our screen for our thoughts and prayers video every week. I also have a big poster that is a reproduction of the uh, one that was done in the 1940s during World War II. I have a big, it's red and white, it's very, very like, wah, you know what I mean? Um, that I will be putting up. That was a gift from Chewy. I also have, Louise has in her room, a little card that is purple and white that says keep calm and carry on. And that sits right by her bedside, on her bedside table. And then I have a couple of, I have a magnet that says it. So it's in little places around Lilybug Lane. You know what I mean? Not real obvious places, but when you look, you see it. Or when you need to look. You, when you need to see it, you see it, if that makes any sense at all. So I think this is just absolutely fabulous. And um, thank you so much, Tanya. I, I, you, you should have you heard me when I opened this and saw what it was. But thank you for your lovely, lovely, um, both Heidi and Tanya, for your lovely, lovely cards, for your lovely, lovely letters in the cards. I appreciate it very, very much. And we here... I, and I know all of our circle members, are more than happy to offer you and your families um, support and friendship. Um, you know, that's what we're here for, to help each other through, right? Right, I know. So, thank you very much to both of you. Um, so, nothing going on tonight. So, we only have activities at Lilybug Lane as of right now, on Mondays and Wednesdays so far. And then, you know, Louise Bowles in her league on Saturdays, and that starts this Saturday, her fall and winter bowling league. So those are the only things that we have going on at Lilybug Lane right now. Um, so, um, you know, it's just pretty routine for us. Um, I did want to tell you, Cheryl Coyote, who is a Circle member and a fellow YouTuber, her channel is Cheryl Coyote, she posted a really, really good video earlier this morning about um, preparedness, and there is a website that she gives in her video about um, life, uh, life preparedness and disaster preparedness. So if you want to go visit her, her channel, Cheryl Coyote, and look for that video, I think it's called 
my life in a box, I think is what it is. Um, certainly look at that because she does give out some very good information and there are some very good links in her description box. So want to want to let you all know that too. Now, Cheryl lives out in the foothills of California, so they have to deal with wildfires a lot. Um, you know, no matter where we live in the United States, there are certain, <clears throat> excuse me, certain conditions or certain weather conditions that, you know, we all have to prepare for. So, you know, it's not only the people that are on the coast or it's not only the people that are in the Gulf, you know, we, we all should be ready for things that, that happen in our area or could happen in our area. And, um, you know, so it doesn't really matter where you are in the United States. So I think I'm going to cook goulash tonight for dinner. I know, right? Goulash tonight for dinner. I think I'm going to do that. And it's just elbow macaroni. It's ground beef with onions and peppers and mushrooms. And then I think I'm going to put some, um, a can of chopped tomatoes into it. And then, of course, the cheese on the top, which is the best part, right? I know, right? So Louise is already upset about Dancing with the Stars. It hasn't even started yet, and she's already upset about it. I guess they've released the cast of Dancing with the Stars this this year. I don't know exactly who's on it. I know there's some YouTube girl that's on it with a violin. She's really Lindsay Sterling or something. She's on it. I know Terrell Owens is on it, which he was like a football player. He might still be T.O., I think is what they called him. And then Barbara Cochran from Shark Tank is on there, which I think is, I think is a little bit, I think is a little bit hilarious. I mean, come on now, you are a multi, multi, multi-millionaire. What are you doing on Dancing with the Stars? I mean, ugh, you know, but anyway, she's going to be on it. I love her haircut though. I love her haircut. And then I heard that one of the, um, what, you know those twins that are on HGT, Scott, the Scott brothers? One of the Scott brothers and his wife, I believe, is going to be on Dancing with the Stars, and they're going to be dancing with different parts. You know, he's going to be dancing with the female person uh, dancer, and she's going to be dancing with a male dancer, but I believe they are on it as a couple. So anyway, um, I, and I think I heard Cheryl Burke is coming back too. But let me tell you something. Louise is already upset about it. She said, I didn't know this because I didn't, I'm not keeping up with it very, very well. But that there's only two weeks left of Big Brother. I know, right? Only two weeks left of Big Brother. Now, don't forget, is it September 26th? that This Is Us starts back. Now, if you are not subscribed to the This Is Us web, uh, channel on YouTube, subscribe to it because they're starting to release little digital exclusives and things like that and doing recaps on certain characters and things like that. So I think I might binge watch season one. I think I might binge watch season one. So anyway, I have a lot of um, shows that Chewy DVR'd for me um, on the 31st that were tributes to Diana and, you know, shows about Diana and everything. And today was George's first day of school. I know, right? He looks so cute. He looked a little bit scared, but he looked cute. And of course, William took him to school today because Kate was not feeling well. So, but he, he just, he was so sweet. He was so sweet. Now, I love in England, one of the things that they do in England, and this is just something that is traditionally British, is that typically, typically, little boys wear shorts until the age of seven in school. And then once they reach the age of seven, they go into trousers because they become more, you know, older children by that time. So I just think that's really, really cute. And I remember, and they showed this morning on the news, um, when William went to school, when he was little too, and they showed kind of like a side by side of George and when he going to school today, this morning, and then William going to school 30 years ago. And it was just so sweet because they, they resemble each other quite a bit. So, so that was nice. Um, 
let's see what else um everything that we've put out at the curb and put a free sign on has been taken which is a good thing i mean you know i'd rather somebody take it and use it than put it in the skip and have it go to the dump um there is one thing though that nobody is taking and it really really surprises me that nobody's taking it and um i told chewy i said if nobody takes that i said it's going back it's not going in the skip we'll just put it up in the attic or something but um, it's really surprising that nobody has taken it, th knowing how popular farmhouse decor is right now. But anyway, the, the thrift store is open again. My favorite thrift store. She opened back up. I know, right? I meant to tell you all. So when I came to get Louise one day, I noticed that, that the store looked like it was open. And I thought, boy, that's really odd. She told me she was closing. So I went there yesterday, and lo and behold, she is open. She decided not to close. So there's something in there that I'm watching, and I think I might go get it tomorrow. But um, it's something that I really have a, I really, um, I have a thing for. You know what I mean? I have a thing for it. But um, I think I might go get it tomorrow. But she is open. I know. She said the very last day, she said the landlord of the building came in to, to wrap everything up and stuff. And she said she just couldn't do it. She couldn't let go of the business. So she decided to stay open. So I was like, yay, yay. So, but Chewy said no more, no more dressers right now. He's dressered out. He's He's, he's a little bit over um, refinishing dressers because he's refinished two of them recently. So he said no more dressers for a while. So I won't, I won't do any more dressers for a while. So I just wanted to stop in. I wanted to share the mail with you. It didn't just come in. I've been holding it for a little bit, but I did want to share it with you all. And um, again, thank you so much, Heidi. And thank you so much, Tanya, for being such a wonderful part of our channel and for being such a wonderful uh, friend to our circle of friends. Um, we really, really appreciate it. We appreciate every single circle member that we have and circle friend that we have. It just, it makes this, it makes our channel um, a very, very solid channel and a wonderful place to be. So most of the time, right? Right? <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I got the message loud and clear. I got the message loud and clear. So, so I washed my hair today and I kind of blue dried a little bit to straighten it out a little bit. I didn't do the flat iron on it. I've decided that I can't, I'm not going to do the flat iron all the time because I don't want my hair to dry out because since I started menopause, my hair has, you know, has dried out a little bit. So I'm using like coconut oil, moisturizing shampoo, conditioner, the D3. I mean, I'm using everything I can to keep the moisture in it. So I think what I'm going to do is not flat iron it all the time. And plus it takes a while to do that. And I just don't, it's a process. And you know, how I feel about the processes. So, but I did wash it today and I did treat it with coconut oil. So what I'm doing is just putting coconut oil on my fingers and then just rubbing it into my scalp real good, going in circles and up and down, giving myself like a scalp massage and then running it through my hair and then especially on the ends. Um, because, you know, once the weather starts getting cold and stuff, we're all going to feel like we're drying out. So we want to make sure we stay hydrated. So I guess that's about it for Thursday. I just wanted to pop in. Um, you know, now that we are back in school, we will be able to have Val vlogs. Again, please know that I am thinking of all of our circle friends that are down in Florida, along the East Coast, um, and in the Gulf Coast states. You are always in my thoughts, and I just think of you all the time. Um, I will be thinking of you all this weekend. I, um, I do have a large bag of empties to do health and beauty empties. So we will see if I will get to that this weekend. I've been holding it for a really long time, but anyway, so thanks so much for stopping by to watch this video. I hope you are all safe and well on this Thursday. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. And I think of you often. You are never far in my thoughts. I hope you are healthy. I hope you are happy, and most of all, I hope you are safe. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great evening.